Burlington is a baseball town once again. The Vermont Lake Monsters season is in full swing. I'm joined here by Matt Fincher. He is the head coach of the Vermont Lake Monsters. Matt, we know we have some Vermont players on the team. What does that mean for them to get to play at Centennial in their hometown? Yeah, I mean, it's proven to be a big deal for them. Uh, we always try to do a really good job of recruiting kids from Vermont. We have uh, Col Colby Brulette and uh, Wyatt Cameron returning for their fourth year. They're both from Vermont. Uh, we have a couple of local uh, Burlington uh, players, uh, Zach Davis and Nick Kelly, that will be with us at some point when their high school season gets completed. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, we do, we do the best we can to pull people out of Vermont. and. Um, you know, they've done a great job for us, and the uh, fans seem to love them. Really cool that they yeah. get to play in a place where their own family can come and watch, especially yes. if they go to college out of state. Yes. Pretty exciting. And we know there's some rule changes this year yes. for fans that are paying attention or for the players. What are some things that might be different this year? Well, one, one big rule change will be how we handle extra innings. So this year, you know, traditionally in the Futures League, we've gone home run derby in the 10th inning. And this year, they've added the ghost runner at second base. So the 10th inning will be played with a runner at second base. Mm -hmm. And uh, if nobody scores in the 10th, both teams get their shot at that. And if nobody scores, and 10th, then in the 11th, we'll go to the traditional home run derby that everyone's familiar with. Right. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So, sort of shaking it up this year. Yes. Well, you can watch the Vermont Lake Monsters on WYCI. That game is happening this afternoon today. For now, we are in Burlington. Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 this morning.